As the grand old party struggles to make itself count in the upcoming elections, handing over party's campaign to Ajay Makan has certainly brought the Congress back into the reckoning. The real outcome will come on the 10th of February when the results will be announced. But for now, Makan has ensured that Congress is not taken lightly. The faction-ridden Congress has finally got a new face to take on Kejriwal and the Modi Jagannath. A veteran for 30 years in politics, saw his political fortune squandered in state politics due to his heavy rivalry with Sheila Dixit. But Makan was a survivor. Makan is quite competent to be the uh, chairman of the campaign committee. So that was the finding of the Congress leadership. That is how it is implemented. And as the voting date is coming nearer, the famed rivalry is being forgotten. Uh, Ajay Makan is, uh, has, has experience also. It's not just that it's a change of face. So we have a very big uh, advantage in, a, uh, in, having, in belonging to a party, the Congress uh, having this experience and a good leader. The Congress strongly believes that Makan's strength is his unblemished track record of 15 years. His roles include being a minister in the Sheila government in Delhi to cabinet minister in the UPA government. While the Ahmadbi party is fighting these elections on an anti-corruption plank, it is Makan's face which brings Congress back in the reckoning. I am saying again and again that we are not only trusted, we are trusted and tried both. You have tried us. There may be some glitches, there may be some people, but we've got a good number of clean people with vast administrative experience. Let us go ahead with them. Making deep inroads in the Delhi politics, Makan has risen from AICC media cell head to ending out old Delhi bigwigs like J.P. Agarwal, Arvinder Singh Lovely and Harun Yusuf. Always in every party there are factions. Always in Congress there have been factions. And in, uh, 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 during the elections we all join together, we all work together. And this time around also uh, we are expecting and we are very happy that uh, Sheila Dixit uh, herself has said that she will actively campaign. Jay Prakash Agarwal also will campaign. I think everyone will campaign in Delhi and uh, we will win the elections. After Sheila's decision to stay away from these polls, Makan's appointment has given a new lease of life to a rudderless Congress. The Congress has put its best foot forward in the form of Ajay Makan for Delhi Assembly elections. Other leaders in Delhi have retired while others have been edged out by Makan. This is seen as a generational change which the Congress party is attempting. But if Makan fails to deliver, it will be a blot which would not be easy to wash for him. With camera person Probir Biswas in Delhi, Ashar Khan for headlines today.